Hello, this is Lily, and I'm taking the opportunity to talk about three of my very favorite uh, offerings that will be uh, featured in the auction that goes live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Basel time. So the first is this deep cup here, and it's showing on both sides the same scene. So a quadriga, a chariot uh, drawn by four horses uh, with two individuals driving in the back. And the, the, the painting is, is sort of sketchy. The artist was not terribly concerned with um, showing exact uh, physiognomic details of the horse, quite the opposite. You can see he's, he's got uh, missing, missing legs, he's got missing heads, rearing heads, but the idea is certainly there that this is a quadriga. And it's being drawn, uh, driven by two people and both have this uh, very signature hairstyle, this krobulos, which was used in archaic Athens for youths and maidens alike. Uh, so I'm identifying these two as the divine twins, um, Artemis and Apollo, and where they're going is anyone's guess. And I think that this identification is strengthened by another sort of schematically rendered uh, wing, uh, stringed instrument that uh, one of them holds. And this would seem to reference um, Apollo's signature in instrument. Um, so anyway, this is great fun. And the devil is in the details and all of the little mistakes and incision work that the artist has done to render the horses is really a lot of fun, I think. The second one is this very large stamnos. Um, and so this is an Etruscan production and it has definite uh, overtones of uh, similar contemporary attic vessels. You can see that it's really uh, both in form, in the, so the shape of the stamnos and in the decoration, it's really sort of uh, trying to uh, allude to the attic production. And what I think is really most fun about this is in Etruria, in this period, they weren't, they weren't really constrained by uh, maybe the fussiness uh, of ornamentation and, and form that came sometimes in archaic Athens. In fact, the painting is really freeform and exuberant. So on each side you can see this um, satyr who's sort of, uh, well, as usual, sort of uh, accosting this maenad. So both acolytes of Dionysus and really almost involved in a dance or pursuit scene. So the other side you can see as well. Here. And so the figures are great fun. They have these great big bottoms and they're sort of these very elongated hands, which I think are really fascinating. Um, so you can see here, especially the, the maenad's hands, they're almost looking like these crotali, so these, um, these castanets that sometimes you see dancing maenads have. So the, the painter has really morphed this, this uh, percussion instrument right into the, the hands. Of, of the of the figures, and I also like the, the the sort of attempt at making these cloven feet of the satyrs. So sometimes satyrs are shown with human feet, but because they are half donkey, um, half man, sometimes they're shown with these sort of hooves, and that's the case here. So it's great fun. Uh, all of it is very exuberant, free form. Even the palmettes and the decoration, which again are reminiscent of attic production. Um, but really something quite different here. So the last piece I want to talk about, it's a youth who seems to be squatting or crouching, and he is totally enveloped by this heavy mantle. So the mantle is wrapped around his shoulders. He's also wearing this, this um, hat, perhaps a pointed woolen hat. And I think what's shown here is a shepherd boy. And I've never seen one exactly like this before, and I think it's quite sweet. The surface has a lot of sintering here, so you can see that the accretions um, from the burial environment. Um, but the face uh, isn't. The face is quite clear and has sort of a sedate expression of maybe a shepherd boy who would like his day's work to be done. So I hope you'll join us, and thank you for everyone who has registered for the auction. And yes, it should be exciting tomorrow night, and we'll be watching with excitement here in Basel. Thank you.